such a delight to talk to you in this amazing surrounding. Thank you. Uh, it's exciting to work together for the first time. It always allows for surprises. So tell us what you <laughs> surprise each other with. I mean, I well, was amazed at how much we laughed, even wearing the exosuits, which were very, very heavy. But I mean, we just found ways of trying to laugh through all of the days. And working and that with Blunt, cool. she's so, look, you're standing here, but she's so charming funny, talented. Like every day, no matter how challenging the day was, we did. She made we me laugh. laugh. You made yeah. me laugh from morning to night, no matter how. And it was and it was also, you know, with this movie, it's the kind of film we were working very long hours and then mm. we'd go we'd all go back uh, to the conference room and, and do and, script meetings yeah, and work and on stuff. script meetings. It was a really throughout. collaborative film, you know, and I and I've 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 said this to you before, it's the biggest film I've ever been up, you know, been a part of. But the most collaborative one, which is surprising. I would have thought with a big studio film, like it's, people get a bit um, wary of too many ideas, but that it was always the best you idea one. Worried, on just too many ideas. Too many it's ideas. Like, I thought you were going to be like. Blunt's going on again. Thanks anyway Blunt's for that. Blunt's going note. off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks anyway for your <laughs> notes. I'll pass. <laughs> did that leave much room for Dog Lyman? What's that? Sorry. <laughs> Talk about collaborative. How much did you collaborate with Dog as to, you know, building those characters on day to day basis? Was he the third person in the triangle? No, I mean, listen, the thing about Doug is, is, and you see his movies, he has such a unique take. And I love the characters in his films. And I spent a good year on the film with him. And, you know, luckily, I mean, Emily is an actress we always hoped to get and wanted her to come on and someone I wanted to work with. And she came on. It was it was the three of us were working, you know, very diligent for a long time. And the structure of the film was really what Chris McCory mm. wrote. But it, it is it is the kind of film that needed that level of humanity, commitment, actually. involvement and humanity. And you just go over things layer upon layer. Mm. And, and I think when, when the audiences see the film, the kind of characters that... You know, this is this is such a unique love story, mm. and it is a love story, and and it has tremendous amount of humor and humanity, and and you only get that through, you know, that. And it was also the most challenging structure for a film that I've ever been a part of. I mean, I've produced many films and developed and worked on many films, but th this was the cool thing about the movie was that I think interested Doug and myself was this whole point of the reset, being able to reset the day. I mean, my character gets this alien power. And he's but using it as an advantage for entertainment rather than it becoming like a tedious, I, you know, like a That's tedious concept. That's what we were hoping it would not be a tedious, like <laughs> boring. We were hoping. We were, we were like, is this going to get boring? diligently, yeah. like just, but it's also progressing character and story mm. the whole time. And, it's true. and her character is, is a fascinating role because it's you know it, this is this is a subjective journey taken from Cage's point of view my character essentially is pretty much a, a coward who makes a mistake and tries to blackmail a general and then he gets sent to the front and the beaches of Normandy and he f goes along this journey in the day and it's it's quite terrifying and then he dies but with that he gets this alien power and with that he our two characters, their lives intersect, where she is this, she's a soldier, she's a great warrior. And she had the power at one point, and then lost it, and thought, feels that she's going into this battle this day, and she's going to lose, and all humanity's going to lose. And now, of course, here's my character who has this power, and he's not a soldier, he's not, he doesn't want the power, he doesn't want to fight, he's... A coward, really. He's a coward, and very human, you know? and. Mm. So she becomes his sensei, his <laughs> tormentor, his... <laughs> <laughs> he's a very good weapon she's, for her. She's you know. unrelenting and yeah. he's just like, look, let's just take a moment here, you know? And she's it just, like, no, you're injured, reset. Yeah, exactly. reset, he's yeah. like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And so as this progresses, you know, every single day, she never remembers him. And so it has this, of course, he's living through it and so like an unrequited relationship. Yes, almost. and he he learns about her, and the audience learns about her through Cage's journey, and it's just a it's just a really very Lyman esque, and it has the kind of humor that I love in a film. I mean, yeah. it's one he's of the things that we got a sort of irreverence, hasn't he, Doug, to his films, and you know I think that's what's so exciting about him. He finds these moments of great spontaneity within a, a premise and a concept that is very kind of high, like a very high concept sci-fi idea. He finds these wonderful moments of humor and humanity and 
that's really the place that Doug operates from. You know, he really wants to know like what's a real moment, what's a real exchange, what's a real answer to that question. You know, he's he just always tries to carve out new space for himself within within a genre, and yeah. I love that about yeah. Doug. We're what, constantly what, searching for the, that kind of the kind of moments, and the thing I mean, Doug and I talked about right from the beginning is, you know, what we wanted was was really that that full journey for an audience where it has that drama and yet it has that kind of character comedy that that I love that are really my roots as as an actor that we, I like exploring so constantly with with this with the kind of and in this film death is 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 obviously just it's emotional and it's but it's also quite humorous <laughs> and so we I was constantly pushing the stunt guys for you know it's like, look, this is, I would have him, I say, this is Wiley Coyote, please. I'd throw make me against violent. the wall, make yes. it more violent. And Doug and I would come up with it and laugh, you know. I mean, that's because that's our sense of humor. All of us were like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. how funny this will be, you know, to die this way. And, and, and a hundred times. You know, yeah. it was a hundred times. So it was exciting. What, was it the running joke that you got to kill him, you know, hundreds of times? It was so much fun, yeah, that I got to kill him in many different ways. And... How many I different ways can I shoot him in the laugh. head? You know, it was it was there was a there was one day where I think I shot him like 25 times in the head, and it was it was kind of amazing. You know, and there were different ways in which I shot him. Do I feel bad about it? Am I kind of nonchalant about it? Do I not want to see? Is it kind of ugly? And and I just loved that. I mean, and Tom was so game. You know, that we did days where we just improv stuff. So he was like, why don't we do one where, where my where my leg's broken? And I'm saying, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. And that's the one that's made it into the movie. And at this point, he's so over it. And and, and at first you see him kind of terrified by her killing him. And then it becomes that he's just, it's happened so many times. Well, he's like, do it, just do it, just do it. He's just yeah, a little shocked. like, what? She's gonna, and then you just, I love, it was so much fun shooting her. Like we, we had so many different angles and close-ups and we'd get like in here like this and out to just get like, just, you know, and she's just like nonplussed by it. You know, mm. where Cage is, it hurts every time. Mm. He still doesn't like the sight of blood. So it was just a wonderful, it's a cool chemistry wonderful to scenes play. Yeah. to play and to come up with. Uh, let's talk about action. It was so physically demanding for the both of you. Uh, all the more for you. I mean, he's so used to it, doing his stunts all the time. All the more for you. <laughs> I know, for Tom, it was so easy. easy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> poor Emily. <laughs> poor Emily. Poor Emily. <laughs> no, it was it was hard for both of us. I, I remember signing on to this, and Tom just said, this is going to be physically the most challenging movie I've ever done. And I was like, great. So I'm in at the deep end of action movies, you know. Um, and, but we trained a lot for it. You know, I think that was the only way to do it was to prepare. And well, look, I, look, I, I worked have to for say like for three Emily, months. She worked. Look, the thing that you did, you know, which I see, you know, the film you also made with uh, Matt, mm. when you trained as a dancer. Mm. I, I knew the kind of commitment. It, it's not because. Look, she's a great actress. You needed someone that has the com understanding of comedy and drama, and also a sense of. of a cinematic and a romantic quality and she trained hard for three months and was really really prepared and but I also knew that this was the deep end of action it's mm. very complex and the stuff that we wanted to accomplish together just for the look of the film and for the character of the movie that would make it original and, and Doug and I talked about it right from the beginning is that we actually do wear the exosuits that they are practical and you know Pierre Bohanam who, who, who Design them. You know, I spent I spent a good uh, almost two months working with the suit before the actors came, and even beforehand, I, I knew it was going to be very challenging. Mm. Worked with it to try to figure out what what is the action going to be, and and it's not just it's it's character, like the elegance of her character. We would not have been able to get those shots had she not done it, and that's it's not just action; it's also character and story. Mm. So, I have a great respect for Emily and what. Thank you, what she Tom. did. No, it's true. Jeez. I didn't. Did I ever tell you that when we were leaving? You I did. Yes, yeah. I did. Very That's like old ones to me. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just been bored with it. But these <laughs> people don't know that. So I just want these people to also know how hard you work. She's saying. And it's really important because most people think that you just earn the that trailer. That I just swan in and just, let someone else exactly, do it. Exactly. Let someone yeah. else do it. That's not true. 